In this episode of Tech Talk, we're going to be talking about our four-inch Bluetooth in-ceiling speaker. So you can see here the product, it's very compact. So this is perfect for single room installations. So bedrooms, bathrooms, en suites, kids' rooms. Also, if you're a property developer, so for apartments or hotel projects. So anything that's going to be a single room in installation. So in this video, we're going to be going through kind of the aspects, the features it has and why it'd be perfect for your, for your project. Okay, so now we're gonna sort of jump in into the features of what this speaker has. So first off, in terms of its design, so as you can see, obviously in terms of its four inch cone. So this cone, uh, the speaker is IP44 rated, meaning that it can be installed in a bathroom. Also as well, the speaker is completely closed back, meaning to obviously improve the sound quality of the speaker. So all the components that are used uh, for this is to obviously make it sound as best as possible. Now, in terms of this being an all-in-one system, whereas if you had your conventional uh, speaker system, you would have an amplifier with speaker cable running through and then to the speakers in the ceiling. So we've made it as simple and easy as possible, by whereas everything's built in, so from the amplifier to the source and the speaker, all that's required is power. So I'm going to show you how easy and simple that is. So as you can see here, we have the power connection point here. And then using the power driver that is included. So with this driver, so this works from 110 to 240 volt. So in terms of installation or international in in installation, that this can be used. But for further information about that, you can visit our support website. So I'm just going to show you now how easy it is. So we have the connection point here that simply plugs in, like so. Then on the driver side, you would then take off the housing here. So that simply pops off, and then that then exposes the connection points here. So with these, so you've got your live, neutral, and earth. It's simply flick these up and then a cable that I prepared earlier you have the ends so for this one you've got a, a, a plug so of course it can be plugged directly into a socket or it can be done into your lighting circuit so with these you would take the cables and you would simply pop them in like so Once they're inserted, you then take these and you then push them down like that. And now with that, it's then fully secure. You then take the cap, put that on top. So with these, they've also got these jagged little teeth. So what that means is that will then clamp onto the cable, making that fully nice and secure. With this as well, you've also got these points for screwing and on the base here, this one here, so that would be punched through and the screw would be inserted through here to screw on and the same here as well. So meaning that when the, the power's in the cavity and that's screwed down, that is not going anywhere at all. And that's it, and that's how simple it is. So you've got simply adding power, everything's all in one, make it really nice and simple. Okay, so the next feature the speaker has is this point here. So using a Phoenix clip, this will allow you to add one additional passive speaker to the master. So this master is able to power one additional passive. So I'm just gonna show you how that works. So you take the thing that's clip out and then you would basically put the speaker cable into here. And I'll show you one that I made earlier. So we have the thing that's clip already on this end for our passive speaker. And then I'm just gonna take this one and then terminate it into this. So you take the cable ends, you put them in, and you start screwing up. Now, what makes these really simple and easy to use is that once they're, once they're installed, of course, then these clips can be added to the end. So if the cable has been run, so if it's first fix and you're running that cable, you can have these ends. So then when it comes to second fix, when you want to keep the speaker nice and clean, and actually then get it in and get it powered. So once it is then inserted, 
you then simply take this end and you'd plug it into here, like so. And then you'd have then the secondary plugging into its passive, just like so. And it's that simple. So once the, again, so when that cable is then installed, you've then got these clips and they can then simply just be then clicked in. So that is then now giving enough power to the secondary passive, and obviously both playing at the same time. So moving on from that and with this kind of connection, as you can see here, so I'm just going to unplug that nice and simple. And as you can see on this, we have what's called a mono and stereo switch. So why, why would that be used? What's the benefit of that? Well, if you have a, again, a single room, and depending on the size, that you would then have one speaker. And then that would be set into a mono mode, meaning that both the left and the right channel are coming out of the same speaker. But if the room is a little bit larger and you think to yourself, well, actually two would be more beneficial, is that's then when you would then turn that into stereo mode. So the master will be your left channel and the passive will be your right channel. Now, if you had a scenario where you had, if you wanted one in the ensuite and one in the bathroom, again, you could use a pair. So for example, you would then put that into mono mode, meaning that in the bathroom, both the left and right channel will be firing through one speaker and the same through the passive, left and right will be firing in, in the bedroom. So that makes it a really good kind of a scenario and makes things nice and simple uh, when it comes to, to audio. Now, I'm gonna talk about another just briefly feature here. So we've got what is called a limiter enable and disabled. And what that does is that if you were to enable the limiter, it caps the speaker's volume at 50%. Meaning that if you were to go onto your device and try to turn up to 100%, it will not exceed that at all. It will be capped at 50%. If you were to disable it, then of course it can go through its whole range and go up to 100%. So this is perfect for sort of hotel installs, maybe a kid's room where you don't want that, uh, that user to have the ability to go up to 100%, so then it caps it at 50. So moving on, we have another little button here. As you can see, we've got what's called a mode button or, or the reset button. Now, if you were to press the button once, then that will go through the different modes. If you were to press and hold it, that would reset the speaker, clear all data, and put it back to a factory set. So with the modes, we have three different modes. We have automatic mode, Bluetooth mode, and AUX mode. And what that means is, so automatic mode means it automatically detects then what is connected. So if you had something physically hardwired or Bluetooth, you can then chop and change uh, between those two connections. Whereas Bluetooth is solely Bluetooth. So it's a hardwired connection. It will not enable that at all. And it'll go through Bluetooth and the same with the AUX. So if you turn into AUX mode, it will only come through through the hardwired AUX connection, not through Bluetooth. The Bluetooth is then disabled. So, and then speaking of the AUX, so as you can see here, we have an AUX input, which is 3.5 jack. And then that is then used for any hardwired connections, i.e. TV or turntable, where something we have an, some other device, a system that can then actually then work along, alongside the speaker, which makes that a really, really nice feature. So finally, then when it comes to the actual then install of the speaker. So in terms of dimensions, this is 165 mil cut. And how it works is, as you can see here, what we call sort of dog legs or dog ears. And what it means is that, so for example, kind of a, a full circle install, that this would then be, um, when it's inserted, this will be plugged in along with the power. And in terms of your plasterboard, so when inserted, that this will then screw, and then this will then clamp nicely to the plasterboard, leaving the speaker then installed. And of course, when it's on, you then have your grill, which is magnetic, and it goes in the front, and as you can see here, a really, really nice finish then when it's installed in, in the ceiling. So that's how simple it is in terms of insulation um, and all the features that it has. We're just gonna jump into now our, our setup app. 
and kind of the features. So now the speaker's all been set up, we come to the final point of connection. So with this, it's obviously done through Bluetooth. Now with the speaker, it has a Bluetooth 5 chip, which goes up to 30 meter range. So any device you're using will definitely be able to reach within that frame. Now with this, you can connect via phone, tablet, laptop, we've also got Alexa and Google, so anything that's sort of Bluetooth enabled, and also when it comes to source as well. So once you're connected, you can then use any, any source you like. So the first connection, which is going to go straight from my phone. So I'm just going to go into my settings, into Bluetooth, locate the speaker, and then that's connected. connected. The speaker then told me it's connected. I then go straight into my source, and then I play the music from there. So it's, it's that simple. And then now we're just going to go through Bluetooth. Disconnected. And we'll go through another point of connection. So if we go to Alexa, connect to speaker. Searching. Bluetooth connected. Alexa, play music. Okay, here's Spotify. Let me turn it down. And that's it. And that is how simple it is to connect to our Bluetooth speaker so with this so sort of a summary as you can see it's a complete it's a compact size you know it it, it produces a, a really good sound really simple to connect so and also if you wanted any assistance so we also we provide a free speaker placement service so we can assist in terms of your placements and how many speakers you may need i'm nathan from life audio and i hope you found this video helpful and i'll see you in the next one